Hey, Jan here from Socialist Alternative and in this video I'll be talking about Stalinism and why as Marxists it's important to reject it. Uh, here in Australia and around the world, the name communism is really unfortunately associated with the totalitarian regimes of Stalin. But there are a huge number of fundamental differences between Marxism and the Stalinist conception of communism. So we'll go into those a bit. One of the starkest differences is the conception of the state. As Marxists, we assert that the, an essential part of socialism is workers taking control of their workplaces and through revolution smashing the institutions of state power which are inherently oppressive and exploitative and replacing them with radically democratic uh, institutions of workers' power. However, under Stalinist rule, what happened in Russia was that the state machine took power. Essentially what happened was the power that wielded by the capitalist class was transferred to the state bureaucratic machine. This left the working class in exactly the same position as they were before the revolution. Russia then became a state capitalist society run by a bureaucratic and totalitarian state regime. This is honestly a far cry from any form of Marxism. Further, because the Stalinist state is a state capitalist regime, it needs a way to enforce the undemocratic rule of the minority over the majority. This took the form of intense state repression, where dissidents were taken away to slave labor camps like the gulags, or were just simply murdered. Stalin's regime of terror represents the undemocratic and anti-working class nature of the USSR. But to understand where it sort of comes from, we have to look at the idea of socialism in one country. For as long as it has existed, Marxism has been about international working class solidarity and stress the need for the working class as a whole to overthrow the systems of capitalism in their respective countries. This was Lenin's approach to the Russian Revolution, and it seemed really certain that a revolution would also break out in Germany. It was generally understood that without the spread of revolutionary socialism across the advanced capitalist states, the working class would be unable to retain power against the international capitalist system. Unfortunately, when this didn't happen, Russia found itself surrounded by powerful capitalist powers. This is where socialism in one country is born, and is from this idea where intense exploitation, bureaucratic state machines, and the murder of political dissidents arises. Socialism in one country pushed the Russian state into outright imperialism, with Stalin leading the way for not just territorial expansion of the Russian state, but of their allies, namely Adolf Hitler. Stalinist Russia was also the first country to endorse the dispossession of Palestinians by Israel. This is the polar opposite of the Marxist position which the Russian Revolution fought for and which Lenin supported. The policies of internationalism and solidarity amongst the worldwide proletariat is nowhere to be seen here. In every aspect, the rise of Stalinism represented a massive step backwards for the working class. Not only were they faced with more intense repression, exploitation and a totalitarian dictatorship, but the rights won during the 1917 revolution were completely gone as well. The Russian Revolution made huge gains in gender equality and LGBTI rights. However, Stalin's authoritarian regime completely destroyed these massive wins, and instead, society was forced back into intense rules of conformity, traditional gender roles, and even abortion and divorce were outright banned. The legacy of Stalinism and the murderous regimes it inspired is undeniable. Not only have they distorted what Marxism is, but they have turned generations of people away from Marxism as a genuinely democratic theory of social change. Stalinist communist parties use of Marxist language to redwash their anti-working class, anti-democratic and authoritarian ideas have driven thousands of working class people away from realizing their class solidarity and power as a method for change. And those are just a few reasons why Stalinism fucking sucks.